Hello everybody and welcome back to Jake's RC Stuff and today we're doing another sort of update on what's going on with the little glider Now I can't actually remember where we're up to in the video series so I'll just kind of go a bit over everything from what I can remember So we have installed and cut the second wing, I'm not sure which was the first and which was the second but it's been done Servos installed, the rods are also installed, they're not the exact same metal but they were close enough from the spare parts I've also gouged out a carbon fibre tube, this is actually a wing tube from like a AXN or something that got snapped in half in an accident so just sort of cut the end off where it was still a carbon tube and glued it in here, so not sure the exact length um, you could probably work it out, I actually poked through a little bit there because I was going to try and push it through um, but instead I just decided to gouge it out um, so that will all get glued in with um, lots of, because it needs some glue to sort of fill up some of the gaps so Gorilla Glue probably to glue that in. Now, as for the fuse halard, whoops, as you can see, we now have an elevator. So you can see I've cut this off and I've cut a little V out of there and done it this way. Some people have it built as one piece and put, whoops, a piece of wood on the back as an elevator. I'm not doing that, I'm doing this to try and make it look like I converted the glider instead of sticking loads of bits onto it. Um, as you can see, it didn't go quite as well. This is actually the first one I did it was better than the second one. Um, slightly different technique to try and put the V in. Um, so the idea is I'll have one servo connected up to one side as close as I can to this edge and then it will control both elevators fine. <coughs> now if we go up to the front, if you've not seen it before I've dug out the front um, but this is something I've cut, I've designed and cut out on a CNC router. Um, so the idea behind this this is made out of four bits of wood because you've got the piece that goes through there. The bolt goes through to hold this sort of lollipop stick type thing on. That looks like a face. I don't think it's meant to be a face, but it kind of looks like a face from this direction. Uh, and then a motor mount on there. All needs gluing up, all needs a little bit of sanding. But the idea is that will go on here. And then I can adjust the angle of the motor and then glue it all up on its own. It's done. Oh, so I'm just keeping that in there for now so it doesn't get lost. Um, I've also changed, I'm going to use like a really cheap Emacs motor I've got kicking about instead of the little tiny one. Hence the fact this is a little bit taller because it's got a bit of 5 by 3 prop on it. Um, the main reason why I'm not doing anything on this at the minute is because I'm waiting for the receiver and the SBUS decoder to arrive from Bangor. I ordered that today. So, once they arrive, we've basically got to fit the motor and the speed controller, fit the elevator servo and link that up, um, and then just mount the FPV camera in the nose, which is an all-in-one unit I believe I've shown already. But um, yes, yeah, so this is just a really sort of quick update video on where we're up to, and like a part three. Um, if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Recently reached 100 subscribers, I don't think I've mentioned that in a video yet, but we have. It is good news. Um, of course, I'm also working on the Vortini at the moment, and I've got some other planes kicking about. But I could also um, go and do some repairing of planes as well, to be really honest. But anyway, thank you for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.